All right, so the second thing I want to explain is how to hold our shamisen for uh, how we play Tsugari shamisen. So we're going to start with taking this outside bottom corner of the dull and placing it about in the center of our right thigh, or strong side thigh anyway. Um, it's okay if it hangs out a little more to the right, especially if you have a bigger uh, dull go mood than I have, but mine's pretty small, so it goes in the center. We're going to want to keep the dough about an inch or two off our belt line. We don't want it pressed up right against our body. We're going to put it about an inch or two out, and then we're going to rotate the shamisen back just so that this back corner here is just contacting our stomach or ribs or what have you. Then we're going to want our shamisen angled about 30 to 45 degrees outwards-ish. We don't want it coming straight across our chest because that's going to make it hard to play. Um, this is going to give uh, you know more space for our arm to move and it's going to be a lot better. And the last thing is we're going to keep the bottom of the tenjin at about eye level. Higher might be better, uh, a little bit lower and things uh, start getting harder to play. So then, how do we hold our bocce with regards to the shamisen? So, we're going to get our good bocce grip. We're going to extend our arm out to the right. We're going to bend at the elbow about 90 degrees and just we're going to let our arm relax downwards. We're going to keep that 90 degree bend in our elbow like I talked about earlier. And then in my case, I might bring my arm back ever so slightly. Our bocce is going to want to be just shy of striking the sanuito. And then we're going to rotate our hand to strike, to strike the strings. And I'll talk more about that later. You'll also notice that with this 90 degree bend in our wrist and uh, the arm position that I talked about, that the bocce is going to be at an angle. It's not going to be flat up against the, the skin. It's going to be maybe upward at a 30 or 45 degree angle-ish, depending on which string you're striking. And um, only the tip of the bocce is going to contact the strings and the dough. So with our forearm placed on the dough, um, our arm isn't really going to move from this spot too much. We might shift slightly when we switch from Ushido Bachi to Mai Bachi, but otherwise the bottom of our forearm here is always going to be in contact with the side of our Do or the Do Kake if you have one. And uh, that never really changes.